guys, it's your girl Sarah. And Maya. And we're charmed and dangerous. You know, because we're charming. And we're danger. <laughs> oh, especially out here during Women's History Month. Okay. Yes. Especially when we're talking about Aquarius and mm -hmm. Capricorn. Oh, yes. Right? Especially be dangerous. Too. Unbothered, mm -hmm. cold as fuck. Yes. Bold as fuck. Mm -hmm. All the things. All right. So if you're looking at the title, you already know what we're going to talk about today. But before we get into this lovely topic, we would love it if you lovely people would subscribe down below. We're two besties. We talk about anything we want to talk about. Anything sure. that you guys like us to talk about. <laughs> uh -huh. Anything that makes us want to express ourselves. Uh -huh. So if you like our vibe, if you like our energy, if you like our personalities, chances are you're going to like everything else that we are putting out for you. Okay? So subscribe and now on to the video. Okay, Miss Maya Church. Let us know. Who is the ice queen of the Zodiac? Capricorn versus Aquarius. Zodiac standoff. Dun, dun. All the good shit. Dun, dun. We love a good competitive moment. We love it. We love to put them against each other. You know what I mean? <laughs> Pin them against yeah, each other. Yeah, it's true. And I would like to say that these are both our rising signs. Yeah. So it's like, we cold out here. Right, we cold bitches. We cold bitches. <laughs> cold hotting. <laughs> we want our like air moons are like, but like, it's like, but I like <laughs> But rising sign. Mm. Resting bitch face on 10. On 10. And honestly, that brings me to my first point for Capricorn. I feel like Capricorns have the best resting bitch faces. You, you know what so? I mean? I really do. I really do. Like, y'all y'all really got the number one for that. Yeah. I'm gonna smile when you thought it. It's more like, it's more like, mm. Yeah. Right. And I feel like y'all always kind of have the same kind of like stern, stoic, yet unfazed look going on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, look, she's doing it right now. Sometimes I look at myself, I'm like, bitch, smile. Bitch, <laughs> smile. Like, let the people know that no one's holding you hostage while you're right. filming this you're video. You're having fun, right? This is fun for you, right? <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> no, I feel like you guys really can't help it. Especially yeah. when, like, somebody else is talking or somebody's, like, trying to say something serious so really to you guys. Deep in thought yes. about what you're saying. Yes. I care. Right. Sometimes. Sometimes you're judging them. Yeah. Well, no, no. I mean, but <laughs> for if me, I'm, if for I'm me. judging, no, no, no. If I'm judging, it means I care. You oh, know what I mean? That's fair. That's fair. Like I always care. Yeah. That's fair. Not that's because fair. like I want to care and I like you. Maybe I care because I'm judging you. That's fair. You know? Yeah. That's fair. I never really thought about they judge me because they like me. Well, no. Well, yeah. For oh, you. No. Oh, you're great. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you're great. <laughs> Like sometimes we do just judge to judge. Just to be bitchy. Yeah. <laughs> but we digress. I feel like Capricorns, they refuse to let their emotions get the best of them. You know what I mean? They don't want someone else to think that they have the upper hand. So they'd rather come off as cold. Like that's just like easier. Mm -hmm, I feel like for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They don't want anyone to think that they're ran by their emotions because to them, that's weak. That's yeah, what that's weak bitch energy. To Capricorns. Yeah. So, no. I agree. They're not going to show those emotions to you. Because it's like people don't deserve it. I always like to say it. <laughs> That's Capricorn deserve, placement. That deserve. I always say, yeah, deserve is like a big part of Capricorn placement's vocabulary. So it's like, do you deserve my emotions? No. Do you deserve a reaction? No. Do you deserve anything from me? No. Right. So <laughs> I'm just gonna give you nothing. Unbothered. Unfazed. You know? Neutral. Which usually pisses off people the most. Yeah. You me. know? A lot. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah. How do you feel? Who do you feel like is the iciest? Iciest. Okay. Well, I feel like I just have to start off by saying I feel like since Saturn rules over both Aqua and Capricorn, both sides just have a serious, you know, undertone in everything that they do. Like that tone of Capricorn, like Zaddy Capricorn, reprimanding you, being there, like judging you, telling you you're not enough. <laughs> is there so it's like how can you have that energy on you always in your mm -hmm. life and always be a happy chipper person like that's just not possible so at some point that cold energy will manifest because of Saturn mm -hmm. so I want to say this before we get super super into it and I do also want to say that both Cap and Aquarius just know how to keep themselves from getting too excited mm -hmm. because chances are they were disappointed a lot when they were a kid you know what I mean when yeah. they were young and they know how painful it was to be disappointed so they made a promise to themselves to keep themselves calm cool and collected until the day they die because mm. if you're the type of person that's unfazed like when things don't go your way or when someone hurts your feelings it's easy to just be neutral and be unbothered you know when you're mm -hmm. always running with the extremes of being really happy then you're gonna be really sad when it doesn't happen so it's it's like kind of like an air of caution you yeah know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no for sure 
uh, I think that sometimes they err too much on the side of caution because yeah, the people sure. want more from them. You for know sure. what I mean? Especially from both of these signs. I feel like they're both so great. Mm -hmm. So don't think that I'm over here shitting on Capricorns and Aquariuses, okay? Yeah. I love them both. But like, we're just being honest. It's hard to, you know, read them and make connections with them sometimes yeah. because they do have this like wall up. Both yeah, them. for sure. I feel like Capricorn being ruled by Saturn just truly doesn't have time for the bullshit. And by bullshit, I mean all that warm, fuzzy, kumbaya, <laughs> we're all friends here shit. You know what I mean? Like that takes a lot of time and energy that like Capricorn doesn't have. Yeah. In order to be a warm person, you need to have the time to make the connections, you know, with everybody really. And Capricorn doesn't have the time to build new connections everywhere. They go like Capricorn prioritizes their responsibilities more than anything else mm -hmm. so while you're you know at a party like socializing with everybody having a good time Capricorn is like in the corner with their stoic face like, <laughs> trying to get their uber you know what I mean out of here because they don't have time for this shit you know what I mean <laughs> they need to get their uber and work on their schedule for the next day you know what I mean and of course this comes off really cold to everybody because they notice that Capricorn's mind is elsewhere. Like, even when Capricorn is socializing, I feel like people can tell when we're not here. Yeah. So many times in my life where, like, I promise you I'm good at multitasking, I'm listening to you, and I'm making my daily schedule, you know? But, like, people see that I'm doing that, and I can <laughs> see why that comes off really cold-hearted and, like, bitchy. Because it's like, you're not here with me, but it's like, I am. A part of me is. <laughs> like, I calculated how much of my energy can go to you and how much of it can go to me. You know? You know? But people don't. That's why you're cold. <laughs> like, just enough for you to feel that I'm here, but, like, I have other things to do. Yes. Oh, my gosh. That is absolutely amazing. And funny the way that you say it, but not so funny on the receiving, on the receiving end. end. I can see that. I can see that. You know. You know. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, besides the fact that Capricorn just doesn't have time for the warm shit, they also don't have the space in their life for it. You know what I mean? Capricorn has a short list of people that they love and they trust. And believe me when I say they have all the intentions in the world to keep that list very, very short. Uh -huh. You know? <laughs> See, the less people you love, the less likely you'll be hurt. And Capricorn hates being distracted by pain. And yes, I know, oh my God, that sounds insane. Like, what do you mean distracted by pain? Like, go through it. No, no, no. Pain is a distraction from everything else I can get accomplished throughout the day. If I'm like heartbroken or if I'm mourning a loss of a friendship or what, whatever, I'm not going to be able to do all the things that I need to do to feel like I have some, you know, self-esteem. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of Capricorn's self-worth comes from how much they can accomplish throughout the day. So when you're too busy being hurt or hurt or too busy making these connections with all these people, you know, who are thinking you're a warm person, like they don't want to deal with that shit. They don't care about being perceived as a warm individual. They'd rather be just known as the cold hearted bitch who doesn't have time for people. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. They are business, business. Literally. You know? Business is personal. All right. right. That's all I need you to understand about Capricorn. Mm hmm. So, as you all know, Capricorns are ruled by Saturn, right? And we always joke about Caps being Zaddy. Zaddy Saturn. Zaddy Saturn. <laughs> but, like, for real, I feel like some of y'all really do give off this, like, judgy, kind of, like, parental type of vibe. And, like, they know, like, Capricorns, like, know what's best for, like, everyone. And when someone isn't doing well or isn't doing what Zaddy Capricorn says, then they get cold. And mm -hmm. sometimes they will detach because they think you are a liability. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. So insert Ice Queen here. Because mm -hmm. they are not afraid to separate themselves from people. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When they mm -hmm. feel like you're, like, acting out. Yeah, Capricorn, you know, that's that 10th house shit. Like, my public image matters, you know what I mean? The, pay the way people perceive me matters, which means who I associate with is going to be a reflection of me. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy for us Capricorn placements to cut people off when we feel like people are gonna be associating us with someone that's like messy, you know? And to other people that's cold, cause it's like, but that's your friend. But it's like, Ugh, if you're my friend, you wanna act that way? Cause you know, that's embarrassing. I also feel like as we all know, Capricorn also values privacy. And most people understand that like, in order to make a connection, you need to share a part of your private life with people. That's how you build these bonds with people that you meet mm -hmm. and Capricorns as we know love power and they know that if they share their private life with you chances are you're they're giving away some of their power which is very scary for Capricorn and this is a big no-no for Cap so it makes it easier for them to keep their private life private you know and to other people they will definitely come off cold because since they don't know anything about Cap they can't relate to you 
you know, it feels good when you're talking to someone and you guys are both, you know, talking about your private lives with each other. You're getting to know the person. You're making these connections. Oh, that happened to me too. Oh, great. You went there. I went there too. Yeah. All these People things. People to relate to each yeah, other. Yeah, make you feel more. But it's hard to do that with the Capricorn who is like not giving you anything back. Anything back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which leads me back to what I was saying earlier and why I love you guys, but sometimes I hate you guys because I'm like, come on, give me something. Give yeah. me something. <laughs> something to work with. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> And I feel like at a certain point it feels awkward for the person that's trying to make that connection with Capricorn because they're almost like like performing for them. Like, yes. it's like uh, uh, am I good for now? Do you think I'm like a friend of potential? Like I did this and I did that. And Capricorn's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like, mm, yeah, that was cool, I Whatever. guess. Like uh, what they really want to <laughs> say is, uh, I already have like a list of people that are like my close friends and like family and like, you know, a significant other. Like, I don't know why I need you. <laughs> I don't know why I need to. I don't have time. Yeah, you should go talk you. to someone else because like I feel like other people would really enjoy getting to know you, but right. I just don't have time for it. Yeah, it's not gonna be me. Mm. Ain't gonna be me. Mm. And no remorse about that. At all. Because why all. should they? I'm like, bye. Alright, listen, cap placements work hard. <laughs> Alright, they work hard for what they got. They don't they don't like to fake shit. You know what I mean? These signs I feel like have a love a love me or don't kind of attitude, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like they can both be like really hard to date sometimes mm -hmm. because it's their way or the highway. And mm -hmm. I feel like neither of them have any remorse about leaving somebody in the dust if they don't fit into what they their have life. decided their mold yeah. is, you yeah. know? <laughs> and I feel like both of these signs will logic the fuck out of why y'all won't work. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whoever it is that they're mm -hmm. talking to. Mm -hmm. And Capricorns, generally, they feel like they don't owe you anything and Aquariuses, like, don't care enough. To change. They don't. Oh, they just don't care. They just don't care at all. Nonchalant as fuck. Yeah, like they love their individuality, and if you're trying to like change that about them, it's like nope. Mm -hmm. And they're not gonna let you get close enough to really make a change in their life. <laughs> to make a change in either of these two's lives, I feel like they have to respect you, and that's not gonna come off the jump. So mm -hmm. like to everyone, they come off as cold. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Mm -hmm. I feel like yeah. Capricorn wants to keep the stability that they have in their life before they met you and like you said Aquarius wants to keep that individuality so if you are thinking of rocking the boat and taking away Cap's stability and then Aquarius's individuality they're gonna look at you as someone that they need to get away from mm-hmm dip bye Okay, so now when it comes to Aquarius, I feel like Aquarius keeps their cool because they're observing people. That's how they come off cold. They're too busy observing you. They're not actually all aloof. Like they're like, mm, interesting, interesting. You know what I mean? Like they want to know. They're interested. Mm -hmm. And nothing about Aquarius to me is calm because their mind is overflowing with a bunch of ideas. They're an air sign. And I feel like since Aquarius is fixed air, they're able to keep these ideas to themselves because they're very possessive with it. And they only share what they feel like is necessary during a social interaction or mm -hmm. make people want to connect with them back. And I feel like this automatically makes them cold to people because they're not giving as much as they're taking. And I feel like in the type of society we live in today, everyone is always talking, yap, yap, yap it away. So of course, when we run into these individuals that are short with their words, we can't help but be a little bit more interested in them. But at the end of the day, we're gonna go home and think, damn, they were a little cold. Like, they didn't give enough to me back, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And Aquarius is just like that. Yeah, no, you, know? you feel like there's something like lacking. Like, oh, I feel like we had good conversation, but I wasn't sure like, if Did they, they like really, me? Yeah, if they really liked me, we were really vibing. Yeah. Like, we were talking a lot, but I'm yeah. not sure. You can walk away from that conversation like, mm, right. I don't know. Same with kind of Capricorn yeah. too. You're like, did I leave a good impression on them? Right. Do sure. they like me? <laughs> you don't get that. You don't get that validation. Yeah. You know, when you leave that conversation, mm -hmm. you just really don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why I personally don't recommend, like, telling your happiest, most exciting news, like, to an Aquarius mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like they will find some way to, like, kind of make it flat or make it seem like what you just did wasn't all that awesome. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying don't tell your, like, Aquarius friends or whatever. Just don't have them be the first person because I feel like they can kind of, like... <laughs> yeah. Sometimes on your plans. And I feel like that's because like aquas are just very like socially aware creatures and overly logical and because of this social intelligence, you know what I mean? They can be like assholes and elitists in a lot of mm -hmm, conversations mm -hmm. and it's just like 
why it you doing people that? the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? I don't like it. Sometimes when you stand out too much and you're too much of an outlier, people just can't help but look at you as someone that, yeah, you just can't relate to. You yeah. know what I mean? You could either come off as someone that's like super special and like super different, or you could be like, what are they doing? Yeah. You know? And I feel like too, Aquarius is sometimes like when you try and like share something emotional, like they'll be like overly logical about it. You oh, know what I mean? Yeah. And it just makes you feel like when I'm trying to share something personal that they lack empathy mm -hmm. or like any type of emotion, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> Sorry guys, I love you. I feel like Aquarius also being ruled by Uranus, the planet of surprise. You never really know what Aquarius is going to do next or what they have up their sleeve. Mm -hmm. I feel like that can tend to make them look feel cold, you know? If you think about it, when we're comfortable with people, they tend to feel warm. Their comforting energy makes us feel warm. It just feels good, you know, because you're comfortable with them. And the opposite, I feel like, happens with Aquarius energy. Since we can't really predict what they'll do next, they feel cold. They feel far away and they feel unbothered because we can't even get close enough to them to change their mind or to just have a conversation <laughs> with them that is you know back and forth instead of just them talking at you mm -hmm. which i feel like aquariuses can do they sometimes talk at you yes um because <laughs> you know they again they are an air sign so they love talking but i feel like they don't like listening sometimes yeah i would definitely agree with that mm -hmm. Aquariuses are the kings and queens of being passive aggressive. Okay, oh, y'all yeah. know that you are, and I feel like it's fun for them. It is fun I mean, for you it's guys. Us. It is. Yeah. It me. It we. <laughs> right. It's one of my favorite things to do, honestly, is be passive aggressive <laughs> with people. I really have to Got stop it. myself as I continue to evolve <laughs> right. as a woman, <laughs> but I do like to be passive aggressive with people I don't like. Yeah, you know, it's mm -hmm. like my sass. Yeah, but. I love Aquariuses for this reason too, because like it's not always with their words that they're having to be passive aggressive. You know what I mean? Like one of my favorite examples is with their actions. So listen to this here scenario. You text your aqua friend being like, hey, you wanna hang out? And they respond no. But then they're out with some other friends and they make sure that you see that they're out with other people. Wow, and it's like- That's rude. You're not even gonna try and hide it? Not at all. No, they want you to know. And I feel like that's just hella cold. Like why don't you want to one, address the emotion, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Why you didn't want to hang out with them. Because they but can't talk about they it. They can't, they don't want to, you know what I mean? And I feel like they expect everyone to know how, they, how they're how they feeling, and then they detach and leave when people don't. 100%. I've said this before, Aquarius expects you as their friend, as their lover, <laughs> as their Starbucks barista, as anybody, <laughs> to tell them how they're feeling. And if you don't get it right, they don't fuck with you. No. They don't fuck with you. Like they li they'll literally sit there until you tell them how they feel. And if it hits, they're like, you, you get me. And if it doesn't, they'll leave. And hella bitchy about it too, you know what I mean? Right, no, for sure. <laughs> it's like they're hella rude until you get it right. No, literally, it's like, they, you don't know me. me. Bitch, you don't know you, you right. don't know you, you don't know you. You don't understand me, it's like, do you understand yourself? Yeah. Do you even know what you're going through today? Literally, and I feel like their excuse is, well, I understand everybody else. It's like, okay, cool, that's not what the purpose of this world is. You're gonna get you first before you get everybody else. And Aquarius is like, but look at the community. But what about you? <laughs> Who are you? Right. You know? Without asking Aquarius <laughs> who they are, and you know what, I'm don't get a little flustered. We do. Okay, for my final point for Aquarius, I do want to say Aquarius is the least trusting air sign. Okay, that may not be fact, but to me and a lot of other people, that may, that is the case. I feel like Aquarius is the type of sign that comes across all types of people from all walks of life because, you know, they're all about the community and social change and reform and like you can't help but meet a lot of different people when you're working in those kind of spaces. And I feel like the fact that they do that, it makes them hesitant when it comes to expressing themselves fully because they have witnessed shitty people. They have witnessed the type of people that are cold as well, you know? And I feel like, so although Aquarius accepts any and everybody, they know that other people aren't generally always that accepting back. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they hate the idea of being judged. Aquarius hates being judged. <laughs> so they keep to themselves as much as they can and that, comes off cold you mm -hmm. know what I mean and it's so weird to me because Aquarius is such a social sign but they want to be loners at the end of the day they do okay so for my all in all who'd you pick who'd you pick who's the winner let the people you know, like to know? <laughs> I feel like Capricorn placements are unbothered because they don't allow too many people in right mm -hmm. 
they know that they truly they know that in order to be truly unbothered, you must let go of your need to be liked by everybody. Aquarius, on the other hand, is an air sign, so I feel like they still want to be accepted and loved through their social interactions. Like, they just can't help it. That's what air signs do. Mm -hmm. And Capricorn, I feel like that's what makes I feel like that's what makes Capricorn the true ice queen because they don't really care about being liked by you. Unless you're the love of their life or the person that's writing them their check, your opinion doesn't really matter at all. So they're gonna remain unbothered. So I feel like that's why Capricorn to me is the winner. So interesting, I picked Aquarius. Mm. And I feel like they're the coldest because I think some of us just like struggle with intimacy, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. to me, the reason why I didn't pick Capricorn is because I feel like they're more cold for like strategic purposes, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like they actively choose not to engage with their emotions. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like it's like more deep rooted in the Aquarius, like mm -hmm. the Aquariuses, Aquarians, you know? Um, so I picked us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, comment down below with who you picked. Who you think. Who's the ice queen of the Zodiac? Let us know. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know, we got a podcast. And on this podcast, we discuss a question that we're gonna post here for you and we dig deeper into it in the podcast. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, you people, our lovely friends, are you ready for the question? <laughs> okay, would you rather have a Capricorn or an Aquarius as an anger management coach? <laughs> Can't wait. I love this question. <laughs> so like Sarah said, make sure you comment down below with who you think is the coldest, iciest, okay, of the Zodiac between Capricorn and Aquarius. Um, we're gonna link our socials around here. We post every Monday and follow us. Thursday. Follow us. That's our friends do. Already? Okay. Yes. We follow each other's lives. <laughs> yeah. We support each we other. We support each other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we post every Monday and Thursday for the YouTube. Every Tuesday for our podcast. So, like I said, check it out. Check it out. Um, and we'll see y'all later. Have a good week. Stay cold. And Bye. Bye. Bye.